Hello, happy Sunday. Yes, I'm sitting down on a Sunday meal planning, which is very different from when I normally meal plan. But not this week, but the following week, I'm gonna be starting the four week gut health protocol and I'll post a link down below if you need more information on that. But it is Autumn Calabrese's newest program. It does still use the containers, but with a little twist. <laughs> the containers are uh, more broken down. There's more um, vegetables in the container list. Um, the calculation's a little different. So um, just kind of wanted to show you how I'm doing that. I've kept things really simple for this first time because everything is so different while it's containers. And I, I mean, I can do that in my sleep. I can go anywhere and do that. Now the proteins and the carbs have A and B and there's extra veggies. So I like to place to start um, in the beginning. I know Autumn, she isn't a meal planner, which is fine. Everybody's different. You may be watching this and being like, why, why is she planning out these meals? And yes, I plan out my meals. I print them out. I know all the groceries I need to get. But Autumn's style is she picks some protein, she picks some veggies, she picks some carbs and then eats them throughout the week. I mentally, I like to know like, oh, I've had a meal instead of I've just had some random food. Like a recipe denotes a meal to me. And so I like to have a meal and plan and all that good stuff. So for my brain, this is how I'm attacking it. And I've kept it really simple this week. Um, I'm just going to, let me go ahead and share my screen. So she did put out some sample meal plans. So I did start with those. And um, I kind of start how I normally start. So I pulled up one of my old, <laughs> my last meal plan I used, I pulled that up and then I kind of entered the containers um, as, uh, as I normally do. I still went through and put down the dates, anything we have going on for the week. But what I did is I actually just chose, um, I made two blocks. So I made, <laughs> I guess like a block A and a block B and I'm just gonna rotate them the first week um as i get more familiar with the containers and the recipes i'm thinking the next week i'll be able to do more but um and so this isn't next week's meal plan this is for sunday the fourth as you can see so this is a week after next but the reason i'm going ahead and doing it now is because i have a work conference that i'm going to be um downtown for tuesday wednesday and thursday Wednesday is usually my planning day and i knew that this one was going to be a little bit more difficult and i didn't want to feel like I was really far behind. If I'm not getting home till Thursday night, then I can't meal plan till Friday and then, ah, so this is what it's all about, planning ahead. I know I have that going on. I know I'm starting this program on the 4th and I know I wanna be prepared. So I'm taking today to prepare ahead of time and um, go through that. So what I did is if you are um, a member, if you purchase the four week gut health protocol, when you go into your beach body on demand, you will see the four week gut health protocol. It has all the lessons. It's got different videos to walk you through it. It's got bonus materials, recipe videos. So there's a lot of new recipes. Um, and then she also did enter in the meal plans, the resources, it's kind of the same as portion fix. So we're gonna calculate, you, you calculate your, um, meal plan bracket, you find the container plans, and then it has the food list. The food list are a little bit different because we're cutting out some different things that might affect your gut health. So I started with, um, she did a three days for each bracket. So I kind of started with the first one and kind of tweaked it to things that I like. And then she started with day, and then I kind of went to day two. I was like, ooh, I don't like that. So then I looked at day three. So, I mean, I do see her point when she's like, I don't want to create meal plans because not everybody likes the same thing. Not everybody needs the same things, but I like to have a starting point. So this is where I'm starting. So these are the things that I chose and she had them kind of mixed different ways. Um, this is not like time nutrition or 80 day obsession where you have to pair certain containers up and eat them at certain times. This is just kind of like um, portion fix. I can never remember what, I always wanna call it free form portion fix where you're just eating and pairing the containers as you like to. But like I said, I like a starting point and then I can move things around. So um, I'm gonna start my day with my Shakeology. The difference in the four week gut health protocol is that you should be choosing the vegan Shakeology. So one of the things you're taking out is dairy. 
the whey-based um, Shakeology and for that matter, whey-based protein powders, they contain dairy. So you wanna avoid those. Um, so I think I got a bag of cookies and cream and then I also have um, some strawberry. Vegan strawberry is my go-to. So those are the ones that I'll be using. And then um, her plan had rice cauliflower. I don't typically like that. I do have some, so I might mix it in here and there, but spinach in my shake, I'm okay with. And then a half a banana. And then turkey sausage, oatmeal. And this one I'm not too sure about. <laughs> the broccoli um, for breakfast. There are just a certain things that I, I can stomach for breakfast. I'm gonna try it. I know she eats sauteed broccoli all the time for breakfast, so I'll give it a try. I do know that variety is a big deal in the gut health plan as well. I think you're supposed to try to get like 30 different plants in each week. So I didn't want to do spinach and spinach, although I think I do that the next day. Um, so I'll try it and see, and then we can go from there. Um, the next one, she had like a tofu with sauteed mushrooms, zucchini, and onions, which I love sauteed mushrooms, zucchini, and onions. I'm not that big on tofu, so I went to the red bee list and chose um, something else so you can look up the food list there um, she had like a fruit of your choice with pumpkin seeds and cashews for a snack sounds like a great snack to me and then the fixate chicken piccata which was something that I wanted to make anyway so um, I have that and then with asparagus I love that as well and then sweet potato fries that sounds like an amazing <laughs> meal so you can see that so far even just from day one like it's not like it's not a deprivation it's not a cleanse it's nothing like that it's just about feeding your gut <laughs> the good things and taking away some of the things that you might have food sensitivities to which i have been through a full out like eight or nine week um, elimination diet where you do kind of cut everything out and then test some things out um, I don't think this is that extensive um, from what I know so far, which I'm kind of just getting into it, is it's more about kind of restoring your gut so that you can kind of add those things back in in moderation. So, and then day two, um, I left my Shakeology and then eggs. Eggs is one of those things that some people have sensitivities to. I know for me, I know a serving of protein is usually two eggs. I can only handle one egg, so I usually just eat my one egg. Sometimes I'll add like maybe a turkey sausage with it to kind of balance it out. But um, I'll have eggs and then some sauteed spinach and then gluten-free toast with ghee. I know a lot of people have been asking in the groups that I'm in, oh, do we have to make the gluten-free bread, the fixate bread from scratch, which I did try once. I was not a, I was not a good bread baker. <laughs> it came all gooey in the center. Anyway. No, there are some um, fix approved gluten-free store-bought breads that you can buy as well. So um, I'll have that and then um, a salad. So I just said like mixed green. I was, like, I was like, I need to call it a salad so I know what it is. So a salad, so I'll do mixed greens, some cucumber, tomato, sauerkraut is on there. So one of the things that she encourages you to do is at least three times a week to include some fermented foods, but you're good for your gut. Um, into the diet and then um, edamame one of the things that I was really excited about with these food lists is um, something that I remember when I first started portion fix I was a little annoyed about which sounds funny but I was a little annoyed that like beans and edamame like things that are high in protein they were on the yellow list and I'm like wait wait <laughs> I feel like they should be proteins but on a four week gut health protocol, there's two different, there's A proteins and B proteins. And um, the B proteins do include those things like beans and edamame. So I'm super excited about that. So I was gonna do that with some um, edamame. I think it had, oh, I know what had happened. So I, because I mixed up, um, so I was looking at her, um, the meal plans vegan egg souffles that does not sound good to me and so I, I picked down the next one but then the containers didn't pair up so I was like oh I need to swap out my my red a I had too many a's I needed to add in a b so I took out the um the chicken that was supposed to be with a salad and I put edamame instead which I'm excited about and then um salad dressing which there's salad dressings you can make from fixate 
And also on the call I was just on, I heard that you could do um, all the primal kitchens, those salad dressings and ketchups and all those kind of condiments are approved. And then an old favorite, carrots, grapes, and hummus for my afternoon snack. And then for dinner, the fixate must have meatloaf, which is the fixate recipe and broccoli. So I just took that and then so after, since I kind of followed the meal plan that was put out there, but then I made some tweaks, then I went through and I did the container counts. It's like, okay, I need six, two, three, four, five, six, count my greens, count my red A's, count my red B's, count my carbs, and all of that. So went through just to kind of count to make sure I had my containers right. It actually wasn't too hard. Um, but just kind of learning and trying to wrap my brain. Um, it's the same thing I kind of do. The, the last meal plan I had was a carb cycling one where I just kind of keep it simple, alternate things so that's really easy. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for the first week of the gut health protocol. I'm really looking forward to it. And if you have any questions or need help getting started, please feel free to reach out to me.